What is this? A Hush Life vlog. Man, I feel like it's been a while since we just did like a weekly update with the, uh, since we did like the Texas series. Uh, when we do like video series like that, it kind of throws off the weekly uploads, but here we are back to the vlog, guys. First off, I want to show you my new living room. Had to get rid of the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree is basically on its side and right there against the barnwood wall by all the mounts. I've got Casey's Art Idaho Archery Elk here. Uh, we have that so we can take it to our buddy Nick Bourne. Uh, Nick Bourne is a taxidermist. He does a bunch of our stuff. He's also the one who lined us up for that hunt in Texas. Check this out. There's my white tail. How cool, huh? I like this buck just because all the character it had. Old buck, good mass, and just kind of lopsided. I like stuff like that. I like bucks with character like that. What's funny is when I got there, I'm sure if you guys saw the Texas series, this is the shed I saw right when I walked into the ranch house. And I was like, dude, I love this buck. And there was plenty of good sheds in there, but I'm like, this is my favorite one just because it's got a lot of character and it's heavy. And uh, that's when EJ told me that buck was still alive. So lucky for me, he uh, put me on him. He was hitting a few of the feeders and he put me on that, the one, and he came into that first feeder the first night we sat, so that was cool. Anyways, guys, we're just going to be getting ready for the expo now. Um, the Hunt Expo in Salt Lake City is February 16th through 19th. That is like a huge deal for us. It's a big project. We have a 20 by 20 booth within the Mountain Ops booth, which is much larger than that. If you're going to be coming to Salt Lake Hunt Expo, Come by, say hi, we'll have new hats, new apparel, and merchandise ready to go. But anyways, we're just going to do an updated vlog here. I'll be uh, dragging the camera along with me everywhere I go. Today I'm going to go hunt cow elk with my good friend Tori. And uh, I'll capture that on film, hopefully, and get that up on the channel for you guys too. It should be super cool. Here it is, guys. This is going to be my 30-day challenge. The 30 day challenge that I've accepted, I came up with and then I accepted it for myself. So basically what my 30 day challenge is, is I've been wanting to lose some pounds. I've been wanting to feel better and I've been wanting to get in better shape. My son agrees, I need to. Every time I start a diet or a workout regimen, it seems like the first week I give up because I get overwhelmed. I get busy, I miss a day, I get in a hurry, I eat the wrong food. And, and then I just get down on myself. So I decided to start small. Start with just changing one thing of my daily life. So if you follow us on Instagram and you watch my story from the morning, my plan is just to take these four products every day for 30 days. So I've got my Mountain Ops ammo, uh, my Enduro, I've got some Blaze pills, and I've got some Multi-V. Now I'm gonna start there for 30 days. If I don't change anything else in my daily routine besides just taking these four products in the morning, then I'm doing good, I'm, I'm following my plan. But what I think will happen along the way, which I'm hoping, the other two times I got in shape in my whole entire life, I did the same thing. I started small with small steps. And then what I had noticed was the more I did those small steps, the more I got motivated to do bigger steps because I saw a change in my body, my personality, my energy level, and I got more motivated to do another step. So what I'm saying is I'm just gonna start here. This is my plan for 30 days. If I don't do anything else for the next 30 days in my life besides just take those products in the morning, then I'm following my plan. But I'm hoping it will create bigger change in my life. So if you guys want to get on this plan with me, you guys want to try this 30 day challenge, you can go to mountainops.com, get you uh, some ammo, some enduro, some blaze, multi V, whatever products you want to do. Maybe it's just one, maybe it's just that you guys want to try uh, the blaze pills for, for 30 days, once a day for 30 days or whatever you want to do. Go to mountainops.com, use the, the code hush and you can follow this journey with me. We can do it together as a team. We'll be a team. It's just about 5 p.m. I'm already home from Tori's hunt. We had a great day up on the mountain. I do have a butter knife. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Anyways, yeah, I got a butter knife for uh, the peanut butter jar. But like I said, we got back from Tori's hunt. It was a great day. I'm going to edit a hunting video, which is cool because I know we have a lot of people that may not have hunted much. And there's also a lot of people that watch our channel that have never hunted. So you're going to see a hunt coming from a good friend of mine 
and it's a very first time hunter and he's 30, probably 32 years old and he's never hunted in his life. He didn't grow up in a family that hunted. So uh, we've been friends and he wanted to go and hunt. So that was my goal last year is uh, to introduce someone new into hunting and I did. Took the old Weatherby 6.5 300 out. Guys, and I do have a question for you guys. I don't ever preach to be like a super techie guy. This thing was soaking wet. We were out in the snow. It was soaking wet. So I want to know if any of you guys, what is the best way to let it dry out? Air dry it, clean it. I really don't know. So I didn't want to put it away in its case. I'm just letting it air out. It's kind of by some of the heater vents here. But uh, if you guys know the best way to do that, let me know. I want to show you guys my mixtures, my favorite mixtures. Um, for Mountain Ops products because we get a lot of people asking in the DMs and the comments and we never really Have like shown what we use um, personally my favorite is the Enduro product the Yeti product and the Magnum Those are my go-to's pre-workout is Yeti blue raspberry, but they did come out with peach and Green apple I'm gonna go get some of that tomorrow and try it out and then the chocolate Magnum So I always take a scoop of Yeti just throw it in I like a little bit of water, not too much. And then, so that's pre-workout, and then as soon as I'm done with my workout, I go to my truck, and that's where I stash my protein drink. So, which is just a little bit of ice, a banana, and a scoop of peanut butter. And of course, a scoop of protein. Crank her down. Always put it in the Yeti, keeps it nice and cold. So there you have it, guys. That's kind of the stuff I use. Um, I always keep a thing of Blaze pills around oh here they are i use those as needed but i do use enduro yeti and magnum daily man i have not been up here for a long time up here at the mountain ops office finally get a chance to go and sample some of their new products some of their new yeti products enduro and they came out with a strawberry um strawberry magnum protein so got the bow just in case if these guys got time i'm gonna go up to wild arrow and shoot my bow too so That'll be fun. Let's go see if these guys are up here. Let's see who's here. So you don't want a laptop. Oh. Hey dude, get the camera on my grill. What up? Hush live. Where have you been? You've been uh, you here holding down the fort. You yeah, have, huh? My dog, look at that, dude. Oh, Little Abe's no. got me right on the nipper. Dang it. So sad. Bad dog. Bad dog, bad dog, No dude. treats. Those guys, the rest of this week, Conquer Combos. Buy one, get entered for 500 bucks in Mountain Ops. Kind of a big deal. Jordan has something he wants to say. He's so happy over there. <laughs> Is that like a slow motion do do? <laughs> dance move? What do I do with my hands? <laughs> I'm so excited, everybody. Conquer your unknown. Conquer your weight loss. Conquer your strength. Conquer Hush. Conquer everything. Are you gonna conquer it all? Are conquer you conquering? Doesn't matter. We're gonna keep conquering. Conquer this. That's gonna, yeah. Oh, I you can't. Eric already conquered it. it. It's already conquered. I wish this fit in my house. Get out as much as you do. Though. Trust me, dude. When we get you a new place, we'll probably find a place for it. It'll so. probably fit. Next place Google I get. Fit there too. I know. Yeah, the weirdo. Dude, it's been a while. It's been a minute. So we've been here. We've been in Vegas. We've been in Vegas. These guys have been in ATA. Wheel of Fortune. $400. I did win $400 on Wheel of Fortune. Dude, wow. my desk is now a bottle sample look station. At, look at Eric's <laughs> desk. Yeah, priority mail. <laughs> bottle uh, samples. You just gotta go with it. Okay, just go with it. Just go with what's going on here. Right. What is this? Is this? Yeah. See, I just, I, chocolate. I, I, that's chocolate. But we got flavor, flav. Back to home sweet home. Let's see who's here today. Oh, look who's here. Let's go to shop show, and then I'm stuck here bored. <laughs> what's up? Hey man, how you brother? Good. Jeremiah's in the house. Hey Last guys. time I came, you were nowhere. You were at ATA. ATA. You weren't here. Yeah. What uh? What did you bring here? Well, got a new bow I need to set up. But you went with uh, the Mountain Ops colors, huh? So you go with the uh, what do they call that? Brown. So I got the black buckskin. buckskin. Whoa, dude. But, yeah, the black limbs. Those look black limbs. Yeah. Yeah, I like those. Yep. Wow, I didn't know that was an option. Well, maybe you should get on their website. I got all black uh, Pro Defiant and green accessories, right. and I can't wait to get it, but I haven't got my bow yet, so this yeah, guy, this you should feel lucky. 
This will look pretty Everyone's sweet. Everyone's getting their bows but me. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. Runs to Texas and shot show. And oh, ah, how are you? Been good, man. I miss you. At the I want. I saw you guys have fun at that desert shoot. With, Dude, that was a blast. I wanted to come. I wanted to come so bad. There was like 300 people in the line, and you knew right where DN was the entire time because you could hear it through all, everybody. It's like, oh, there she is. But it was a big time, man. That's so, awesome. Yep. Are you just filming? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? We're wild there, everybody. We're gonna shoot some bows. Casey got his bow ready. Yeah, Casey's gonna get his set up. What'd you guys bring? Life. The trad bows? Yeah. I brought the trad life. I so. need to get one of those. Yeah, you do need to get one of those. One. We just did a couple rounds warming up. I have a 30 yard pin and really wanted to see where it hits at 10. And uh, that's pretty dang good. 10 yards with my 30 yard pin. Not bad, Eric. Not bad. These guys over here are shooting the wolf. You guys uh, going on a wolf hunt or what? Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're, Casey's... We're always hunting wolves. We're always hunting wolves. <laughs> always hunting wolves. <laughs> Hungry like the wolf. Okay, so we're going to go back again. I'm going to... We're all going to shoot the wolf. Let's shoot the wolf. Traverse you down? compound. Traverse compound. Yep. 20 yards. Closest shot wins. Best two shot group. Best two so shot group. are we only shooting two? Or are we shooting three? Shoot shooting three. Best two arrows. Best two, best two arrows. Okay. Okay, you guys are up first. Okay, Casey. They have a Why, so you know what to beat. <laughs> yeah, so I know. So I know how to beat you guys. Or to shoot your arrows out and then they won't count. Ah, mm. nice shot, buddy. What do you think? Right. Kill it. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good shot. No qualm with that. Oh, wow. What That's was that? Stack. Smacking shafts, y'all. That's called stack. Oh, hit the other arrow? Yeah, yeah, you almost split it in half. You almost Robin Hood? Performed what we call a uh, Robin the Oh, that okay, one. Okay, so your first two, that. your so first two are definitely your closest yeah, two. He's, he's got his dial. Yeah, lefty's united now, yeah, let's finish this of off. Lefty's united. Um, acting president uh, <laughs> with my partner and CEO, Eric Chester. It's funny how many people have caught on to the lefty's united. Dude, it's a movement. It's I know there's a lot of lefties out there. We're here to represent. We're all here to represent the lefties movement. That one's a little far back. <laughs> now, so what do you do? Aim for the bottom? Adjust, bottle? yeah. Uh, well, the here's other what one. you're going to do. You're just going to throw a second one out and then aim the third one closest to yeah. one of those two. Okay. Now we're just going to go back to the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can match that shot. Casey's, Casey's is gonna be hard to beat. Casey's, look at his shot. That's pretty awesome. Oh, I'm all mm. over the place. I don't even have a group. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. Lefties. Sorry, lefties. I let you down. Eric, can you pick up where I left off? All right, Eric's gonna pick up where I left off. Oh, look at that. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let's put that right above his head. My goal is just to aim at Casey's arrows. Each yeah, time. can you just, just split Casey's arrows? That's what you wanted. You wanted something to aim at. Maybe if I knock them off, I'll never know how close they were. Ooh. That's in there. I think I saw yeah. you clutching some moves. Yeah. Bunch of groupies down there hanging out in the old wolf. Check this uh, out. I can hear some. Yeah, I hear that rattle. Yep. Yeah, clean that up, would you? Serious. He sets the shot. Delivers. Weren't that really close? Left oh, I think that one might have been at 12 o'clock. That one looks like it was in about right the same. Right in the middle of them all. All right, here's his third shot. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa right in the soft bro. part. Of yeah. The Let's go check it out. Let's go see how we did. <laughs> so. Whoa. Casey's feeling pretty Whoa. pretty good right now. We got a little pep in the step. The shoulder. Dude, his are close though. Wow. Hmm. I think Trad Life might have won that one as far as You have the best group. Best group. Best group. Best kill. Best shot. best shot. What the heck? I would say <laughs> Guys, I am going to say this though. Best effort. No <laughs> excuses. I got the best effort award. I haven't shot my trad bows for the first time in literally probably four or five months. That's funny because I was aiming at the tip. Already. But that's no I mean, excuse. That just came right it should be natural, right? It should just come naturally. Oh. This is fun, man. This is fun. I wish everybody could be here experiencing this with us. We miss you all. 
I highly recommend to anybody art, shoot, shoot archery, whether you hunt or not. Yep. It's fun. You don't even have never to go tried it, Go to your local archery shop and just try it. They'll help. Get you yeah, some. and if you guys are if, if you guys live in Utah, make sure you come to Wild Arrow. Did you guys do the design on that? Because those yeah, this was a logo we did a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how retro that is. That's actually in line with your brand, the that Inferno. Is retro. Yeah. That's totally disco. Look at that. Nice job, Jeremiah. Love it. No wonder they gave me the Inferno arrows. And I love how professional it is. Look, yeah, see how that matches? Dude, that is a match made in heaven. Your bow hunting specialist, Wild Arrow. On a scale from one to excited, I'm freaking excited. I got the brand new Hoyt Protify in my hand. And check out what colors I got. Check out the colors of those strings. Pink. Yeah. So this year, I decided to uh, go with the pink accents. I honestly got on the website, the Hoyt website, looked up the uh, Protify it in the buckskin, that's the new color for this year. And I just went through all the color options because there's all these different um, custom accessories that you can add to your, your Defiance or pretty much any Hoyt for that matter. And I went through all the colors. I usually do orange, I've done yellow, uh, or no, I've done orange, I've done green. Um, there's yellow, there's blue, purple, pink. I went through all the colors and the color that stuck out to me the most was pink. It looked absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna rock it this year. Hoyt sent me all this new pink stuff to throw on it. Pink sling, pink accessories. I'm gonna throw all this on the bow real quick and see what you guys think. You guys can tell me if, if I made the right decision. So there's the before. There she is. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I think she looks mean and lean. Ready for the mountains. My wife says that pink is a girl's color. You said that. She said that. And I said, I am gonna prove that stereotype wrong this year. I just think it's a beautiful color. I think pink looks really good on the buckskin. I haven't decided on a sight this year. I've been shooting like a uh, spot hog. It's a two pin slider. I can't remember what it's called, but I mean, I like it. I like the slider, but I wanna be able to shoot um, more than just like, I, I, the way I have it set up is 20, um, it's the first pin, 40, the second pin, and I can shoot 30 in between. But I want to be able to shoot like 20 to 60 and then slide if I need to. Um, so maybe looking at like a four or five pin slider. Let me know what you guys think. If there's any good four pin, five pin sliders you guys shoot, but there's the new buff for 2017. I wonder how many adventures me and this guy are going to go on together. Well, guys, yeah. welcome back to Wild Arrow. We are back from SHOT Show. Okay, Eric and the friends from Mountain Ops are here earlier today shooting some bows. Now I'm here with Jeremiah and he's setting up the new Hoyt Pro Defiance. There's that sexy, beautiful thing of mine. That is the buckskin with some yellow accents. Looks way good. And this is, uh, this is Casey's from Mountain Ops. He went with the buckskin with the flourish and orange Mountain Ops accents and the string just looks fantastic on that thing. How good that looks. Anyways, we're both kind of uh, fighting some colds. I can tell Jeremy I got the same trade show seems cold that I got. It uh, seems like a lot of people got sick from the show, but we had a really good time at SHOT Show. Spent good time with good partners. Now we're gonna get these bows set up, start shooting a ton, and uh, before you know it, spring's gonna be here, which is uh, bear season, turkey season. Might have to break up the Hoyts to see if we can do a little spot and stock bear action, but I can't wait to get this new bow set up go put some arrows through it. It felt great to get, finally, a few uh, kills with the old Carbon Defiant, and so I'm excited to get the Pro Defiant. All the feedback we've heard from Jeremiah and also Matt Davis is that the Pro Defiant shoots really, really well, so we can't wait to uh, give them a rip. Okay guys, got back from Wild Arrow Archery. And so far, here's what we got set up. Got all the yellow accents on the Pro Defiant. So Jeremiah got my D-loop served in last night. Got the drop away rest served in. We put the black gold three pin slider on there. And this one also has the uh, the micro adjust features which I really like when you're trying to get sighted in. You can just screw these screws and it won't move your pins a ton uh, like you might find on the other ones. And then so far, as of just yesterday, at the range, I only have the 20 yard pin sighted in. Over time, I'll work on getting the rest of the pins and I'll probably end up going 30, 40, 50 and then we'll get the sight tape put on once uh, that gets taken care of. But so far, this bow is just shooting really, really well. Super smooth. My first group was uh, 
real tight. So can't wait to get this thing going, but the Carbon Defiant is going on reserve. It's gonna be my backup bow this year. Another awesome shooting bow. So it turned out great. And then there is the gift from Andy. Thanks Andy. Look how good that looks on my wall. Guys, we are gonna be getting these new bows all set up. Casey's rocking pink, I'm rocking yellow, and Eric's got green coming. But he's a lefty, so those come later. Sorry, Eric. Sucks to be a lefty. Mm -hmm.